adding a trailing stop to an order on Infinity AT is really easy. Let me show you how. This is the E-mini S&P. It's a 30 minute, 15 minute candle bar. You can tell up here in my time frames, 15 minute uh, candlestick chart. And I want to place a trailing stop on an order. And there's several different ways to do it. Let's say we were going to go long in the market. I would want to buy a contract at a certain point. I would use my trade ticket. I would slide it to the appropriate price that I wanted to put it on. And then I would go ahead and uh, before I place the order, I would click on add auto exit. Click that little plus there, add auto exit. That would be an OTO stop. And I'm going to go ahead and move it to the position that I wanted. And then to activate a trail, <laughs> all I'm going to do is click on the yellow no trail button once, and it'll turn it into trailing. Okay. And when I send this order to the exchange and I get filled on my limit order, if I do, then this will be a tick for tick trailing stop following the market. Okay. Before I do that, let's let me show you how to do it on the opposite side of the trade. I'm going to cancel that. Let's say we want to do a sell order. I'm going to click on sell. And I would position my limit order to where I want it to be. And I'd click on add auto exit stop. And I would place it to, in the position where I like it to go. Click on the yellow no trail. Turns it into a trailing. And if I send the order, we have a, a parent order there with the trailing stop. And that's how, that's how you would do it on the AT platform. It's really easy. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what happens here. Again, this is a limit order to sell. 28.51 and a half. That's the order that's been sent to the exchange. We've been filled. It triggered the stop loss. We have a stop loss at 28.56 and three quarters. And then it will move down tick for tick, as you can see, as the market goes down until eventually it will converge and get and you and you will get stopped out. But that's the idea of a trailing stop. It will follow down. And if you catch a trend, it could actually work out pretty nicely for you. Um, alternatively, you can get stopped off for a loss and, oh, well, you know, that, that, that could happen. In any event, um, hope that helps. It's pretty straightforward on how to do it. Um, we'll keep it up for a second here to see uh, see how my trade idea went. We're a little bit before the open on the Friday, so my guess is we're just going to kind of wait until uh, until that happens. Okay, so it does look like we're trailing now. Things are going our way. Uh, our staff's kind of trailed down to 28.54 as the market breaks down and it'll continue to move down. Let's see what happens. 28.53 is our stop now. Market's trying to make new lows at 28.48. All right, there we go. We're actually moving down a little bit more on our stop. It's brought down to 28.51, almost to our entry, almost to break even. And we'll see what happens. It's, the market's going to open here in New York, the cash market, in about three minutes. So we'll just keep this video going here and see what happens. I know the opening uh, at 8.30 Chicago time or 9.30 New York time is uh, is very volatile. So there's a good chance we're going to actually get stepped up. But at least we're below our break-even line right here. And, and there you go. So the actual trail kicked in. It worked pretty well. Um, and that's kind of fundamentally how you, how you use it. Hope that helps.